So today, Derek and I are going to OrcaCon, but this guy won't let me get up so I can pack. He's just not going to let me do that. <laughs> everybody in gaming so there's there's a uh Washington. Everett. Everett, Washington. Close. Close. Who's that gentleman by the window? Who's that gentleman <laughs> by the window? You're so mysterious because you're all like in shadows. The one with the white tail. Oh, you guys are so cute. Uh, yes, this is Eric and this is Derek. Hello. Hello. We got our badges and now we are exploring. <laughs> I know what my thumbnail is going to be. Oh, they have a little um, little tuck shop there. We can buy like chocolate bars and stuff. Uh, some role playing games happening in there. Lots of stuff happening. Everybody's been very friendly, so nothing weird yet. It's exciting. I'll let you know what I find. Mox are a 
board game stores and restaurants. Uh, we have a location in Bellevue, a location in Bellevue, uh, and we do our best to help grow our local communities. Uh, that's really the goal, uh, and to have fun playing games. I mean, that's that's the end goal. you find something disturbing. <coughs> the room contains a large painted pentagram on the wooden floor with unlit black candles at each point. A series of sigils are daubed across the walls and floor with the word Nyar Lathota. I, I never know how you pronounce Nyar it. Nyar Lathota. Nyar okay. in Hanabi and we won and we got like 20 something points which was great. It was really fun. I really like introducing new players to that game. I'm sorry, I'm the contestant. You can't. Then and then I can we also really, really enjoyed playing Mythosfield, which is essentially like the Sherlock Holmes consulting detective game, except it is Cthulhu themed. We did not do quite as well. I think we missed like a, a plot clue and didn't investigate a whole storyline. But it was still a whole lot of fun. I don't think it's quite as difficult as the Sherlock's home game ends up being, uh, but it's still super interesting. I have it at home, I just never played my own version before. And uh, right now, the guys are playing um, Koo over there. If he has one player, it's it that and I said he does it, I lose the game. One from the staff, uh, one a from the welcome. staff who's telling the truth. Oh, okay, yeah, friendly side? And, and they just That's cool. friendly go to you, and everybody, uh, see at all these other tables over here, everybody's using them. So that is actually really neat, and uh, I wish we could have something like that at a local store. Like uh, other small cons, it looks like a registration system for events is uh, very similar to other cons I've been doing, where they put on the door the time, the location, and what event they're going to be running, and then you just put your name on it. And uh, then you register for it, you just show up at that time, and you play the game. Hey, how'd you like those $1 tacos? What? Delicious! It feels much later, but we have come to the 76 gas station around the corner 
um, to grab a few snacks and then we are going to go back to our hotel room and play some more games with our friends. Game time! Hey Derek! Hey! How are you? Fine. What are we doing? Uh, watching cable because you know, like trash your TV. How was your day? It was fun. What was, your, what was your favorite part about today? Playing games. I'm walking what? around a con. I like just being in the atmosphere. What, uh, what kind of games? What did oh, you like? Uh, one dollar tacos. One dollar tacos were great. They are actually good tacos. <laughs> Where were the one dollar tacos? In the bar. Any it, bar? Uh, it, it was at the bar at the hotel at the con. One dollar tacos. What are your three favorite words? One dollar tacos. One dollar tacos. Uh, what are we going to do with our evening? Uh, you're going to make me watch Trash the TV. Yeah, you're gonna make me watch Trash TV.